So we know that The War Within is now going to launch on the 26th of August, and we're all excited for that. That'll be a patch 11.0, but what comes after? You know, 11.1, who knows? 11. It seems like Doran has an idea of what could be there. Let's see what the truth teller himself, Mr. Doran, has to say. It's pretty the entire storyline of 11.0 was leaked and we know about everything that happens until the finale of the starting patch of the war within we already have hints on what the war within will look like and what the next two major patches will be about apparently there is a hidden map of castle god that might be related to the fifth old god and potentially oh. yet another level to the zone there are hints of a huge new capital we will discover there are hints of an entire continent that might just be the biggest major patch content yet so what is everything we currently know about 11.1 and 11.2 and where are we going to? If you want to get Dragon Fight or anything else Warcraft related, Gamio has some There's excellent Gamibo. deals that you can check out with Use my it. link below. Best of all, you can get software, gift cards, a bunch of games at below market prices. On top of that, you can also use my code DORON to get yet another discount, so make sure to check out my link below and grab some there amazing deals at Gamivo. So, realistically, based on the timeline of the release of the next two expansions, it is very likely that the War Within will be like Dragonflight and that it will have two major patches. So, we're looking at 11.1, 11.2, and very likely the mini patches in between, combined with probably some experimental features like we had gotten with Plunderstorm and sure. the Superdaria Remix. Now, see that the data for the War Within just started, but we can actually data mine the entire storyline of the expansion even a month ago. We don't have all the details, things are obviously subject to change of course but we know how every zone is going to play out we even have the description of what happens in the cinematics we don't have any of the really quality cinematics at the moment but we got the gist of it we know what happens yeah the Not general story is laid out so far as the 11.0 storyline is pretty cookie cutter as you would expect some big reveals like the Arati, the Haronir and Atanam Nerubian lore but so far we haven't seen any crazy twist that would like change <laughs> everything the only information we had gotten is that there is apparently a hidden map of Kazakhstan that they don't want to show in the beta as it would obviously spoil the storyline. Oh, line. interesting. This I didn't know that. is one of the possible new patch content and it is kind of similar to that indication we had gotten back in the Dragonflight beta, if you may remember. It was evident that the new Night Elven City would be placed in this zone. Right, and right. That is pretty much exactly what happened about a year later. However, what do we know and what are the next two patches going to be about in the War Within? For the start, this is the one with the most supporting evidence. I've talked about this years ago as we had constantly got Hints, but He's probably so going to talk about Undermine, which I think will be the very, next patch. very, clear that we're going to be getting something with the Goblin. So, yeah. without the Warwind and Alpha, we can find many new armors. Yeah, if you don't know Undermine, we, I've talked about it a couple times now. I think it's going to be that first big patch after the raid opens. So it'll be like the first uh, point one patch that we get in, uh, in the War Within. And it's because Undermine keeps getting hinted at. Undermine is the city underneath uh the the city that we saw for the goblins that was destroyed during the cataclysm and everything that happened the sundering all that shit uh their city was destroyed but they have another city their original city underground that we've never seen known as the undermine and it keeps coming up in conversations now so uh most likely you know a whole underground expansion could we see undermine yeah i think so and items related to the goblins that were data mined in the builds and are not really related to anything that happened so far in the storyline even more interestingly, we had found actual goblin presence in Kazagar, which was not exactly something we would have expected. However, the biggest bit of evidence is the introduction of Gazlo as the fourth main character, obviously the goblin leader, and he's here alongside Illyria, Anduin, and Troll. We will right. soon get a short story of Gazlo apparently reviving a desperate goblin city and venturing to this place. While this might relate to something like Ratchet or Booty Bay, I would say this right. is highly unlikely and it is very possible. Yeah, uh, Tundra, you're talking about Kajamite. Yes, Kajamite is what they ate. Or they were, I don't know if they ate it or they were just because of their close proximity to it. It made them smart. Originally, they were just kind of like these underground beings. They weren't really as, you know, as ingenious as they are now. And it was the Kajamite, which is related to the blood of Azeroth, but it's not Azerite. It's not Azerite as we know it. It is some kind of like Azeroth-related, world-soul-related stuff, but it's it's a different version of it. 
And uh, that's what made Goblin smart, yes. We might be going I think it was the proximity, yeah. I don't think they were eating it. <laughs> or now, that is just the foreshadowing, but here's the main bit of evidence. Kazan Kaza is actually yeah, very they're, they're, close to Kazlagar when you different. look at the map, and most importantly, just like Kazlagar, undermine the Goblin capital is almost entirely underground. Even more interestingly, it was hinted at the explosion in Kazan that happened prior to cataclysm didn't happen because of Deathwing, but because the goblins apparently dug out Azerite related to the world soul, and as we know, Kazagara is also obviously connected to the world soul, so these two places that are very close by may be connecting to the same artery related to the world Could soul. Be that. Also, most of the hints show us that Andermine and Kazan are sort of struggling, but they're not actually destroyed, they're still active. We've actually gone to Kazan, if you may remember, in BFA in Motherload a few years back, but yeah. it was just on the surface. Most most information says that undermine the capital city of the goblin survived, but it is just struggling. Now, to play on to the recent actual data mined alpha information, apparently the, the Rubian Kingdom of Kazlagar and the one led by Nubarak in Northern were connected in the these Kazlagar the Rubians refused to help them. However, the new information is that there is apparently a tunnel that connects Kazlagar all the way to Northern. We still don't know oh, if I didn't it's know a this. physical tunnel or like a portal, but very likely a physical one because the Rubians always dig tunnels. And that would just show you how much of an underground network exists as this is literally two sides that's, of the that's planet. That's the other side of the world, tunnel, yeah. Which means that there must be... How the hell? They have a tunnel that goes all the way across the world? There's got to be like some kind of portal. Maybe it's a portal tunnel or something. To, just to think about them going all it's kind of crazy. Which means that there must also be a connection to around the sort of Sargeras and Silithus with the other old god servants Sakir and potentially Kazan as it is quite close so a tunnel is definitely reaching it if there is really like a huge network. So by the evidence through an underground zone and the presence of actual goblins even as early as now we're probably going to get a huge goblin patch like we got the BFA however very likely yeah. not just a goblin patch you know not a lot of people are too excited about it but something probably related to Azeroth and the void the goblin part to undermine will be like our base and allies of the new city but you're very likely going to be discovering some sort of secret tunnels or what the goblins get dug out back before cataclysm and very likely we might be yeah. dealing with like a we could also find like some kind of beings have taken over uh their city right so we could have some kind of like undermine raid even that could be it it could not be like it's possible that's not a new zone or a new quest hub, but in instead a new raid. That could also be a potential possibility. Void Division is out that's planning here, as well as something related to the world soul. So that is, by up, all Sean? the evidence so far, going to be one of the patches of the war within. However, what is the evidence for the other next major patch? As I had previously stated, devs said that there is another map, either a new zone in Kazlagar or just a zone that will get modified through a quest line that they're keeping hidden right now, as it would spoil the storyline. Right. My opinion, I think this is going to be related to the World 3 Aluna here that is most likely at the lowest most layer. I've talked about this so many times by now, but all the evidence so far is pointing yeah, all the, the roots at the bottom yeah. planted upon Old God Corruption in Kazlagar is the first... I agree with this there's this theory out there that all these roots that we're seeing in these cinematics are actually roots from the first world tree aluna here that was ripped out by amanthul right that this is like the remnants of it and that's why this giant crater exists and all this stuff exists here first ever world which I, I totally agree with i think this is true aluna here ripped out by the titans yeah i don't necessarily think this could be major patch content but maybe something like 11.1.5 however implications are massive as we could discover new titan lore new old god maybe that fifth old god that was hinted in the mural and if it is the fifth old god related it could even turn out to be a major patch content however the biggest bit of evidence is an entire new continent and something you have definitely heard by this point the other side of Azeroth yeah, oh, is yeah. actually a thing and very likely we're going to be dealing with a whole new continent Avaloran and a new Arati <laughs> every time I hear Avaloran I just think we got trolled like whole expansion context based on the hints we had gotten but it's definitely possible that this could be patch content as well I mean remember yeah. in the past I, I, when I say we got trolled I mean like we all thought the expansion was going to be that and we saw those fake leaks and everything we're like we're going to Avaloran and all that and it turned out to not be true but Avaloran is not, in fact, a troll. That is real. It is canon. Uh, it seems like the Light Emperor, the one who sent over the Hallowfall expedition, all these guys that currently exist in Hallowfall, they came from that side of the world. It sounds like the Avaloran and the Light Emperor and everything, that's all related. 
We just haven't seen it yet. As we had gotten the entirety of Argus in just a simple patch, which was technically a whole planet in patch content, the Hellfall guys are just an expedition that was supposed to establish portals and connect to the mainland, and they died out, and so they didn't have any mages to actually do it. Now, right. Deloran crashed, and Deloran mages are here, and we can definitely help them establish this connection. Apparently, yeah. this is the original Rati Empire on a new continent, led by the Light Emperor, very rich, a force right. to be reckoned with, and they might not take kindly to our race. Of course, right now with the current information, it is really hard to predict what can actually be happening here. They have kind of painted it both ways. The Arati Light humans could be evil, but they could also be our allies in the I don't future. Think they're evil. Also, the way they set it up, the fact that just a portal can connect them, but also being of Arati heritage, this could either happen now in War Within or in Midnight, as the place will be relevant even after the War Within. Yeah. However, if this. I actually think like we might see the Light Emperor, we might see more expeditions from Avaloran, but I actually think Avaloran and the whole other side of Azeroth will be a post-World Soul Saga thing. That'll be like where we go, and oh, this is like a wow, almost like a wow refresh. It's like a whole new planet, the other side of Azeroth, all new shit, you know, new continent to explore. It's not just islands, and this will basically be like almost like a wow to refresh. That's what I see happening after the World Soul Saga, and that's why I don't think we're going to go to Avalorn just in a patch. I think it'll be something else that happens after everything's done is War Within Patch content, we could be looking at a whole new pretty large continent, at least the size of Kul Tiras. We should discover a gigantic city akin to Suramar, but just like the light version of Stormwind with this new architecture we had just seen in Hellfall. I of love course, the Hellfall as we are architecture. In the beta, it is way too early to predict what could happen, but this is definitely going to be patch content. We just don't know the actual scale of it. Yeah. Lastly, the heavy hints that we might be going to crash the planet that Dementias have destroyed, and very likely Zelda had, had her hands in there as well, but personally, right. I think this is going to be midnight content as this could really be huge. So, overall, we got about three major patch hints, even early as now Undermine and a whole new Goblin patch, a new zone in Kazakar itself, and even lower layer related to the World Tree, the fifth old gun from the mural, or the World Soul. Lastly, we could soon be dealing with the Arati Human Empire, the Light Humans, a whole new world we had never seen before, the other side of Azor. Very cool. Thanks for watching. Check out the other evolving into new form by clicking on the screen and check out my video on the Cult of Metras and Norman Mythology by also clicking on the screen as well. See you next time. Yeah, a nice video from Doran. You know, a lot of people always say, oh, Doran's so speculative and everything, but a lot of the stuff he said in here, it's, you know, all things that have actually been revealed, actual truths that have come out, and uh, whether or not they will be the first patch or not, I do think um, Undercity, all that, not Undercity, um, the Goblin City, undermine and everything i think that will be relevant that will be a patch uh avaloran i see it as a bigger thing than just a patch could be showing up after the expansion after the world soul saga we'll have to wait and see but uh nice video from doran i do think there are some truths here about the first patch after the war within launches